What's up, you guys? All right, I thought the light would be better in here. My kids are downstairs. So, um, yes, I'm in their room, and yes, there is a cross and a whole bunch of stickers. Uh, I don't know who is on those stickers, but, um, hi, babe. <laughs> All right, guys, so I just wanted to jump on really quick. I have had a super fun day. Um, I went to speed networking, so the closest thing that I'll ever get to speed dating because I was clearly married before that happened and no desire to do that. <laughs> so, and even before, that sounded really bad. Okay, you guys, so speed networking, um, basically it's apparently like speed dating. So you sit, you have 75 seconds to like elevator speech your business. Um, and then you move on. So very interesting. It's super cool. I like networking, but sometimes I feel like a I get um, I get caught up in talking to the people that I know, and then we just talk, <clears throat> and I don't actually network. Um, or sometimes you get stuck talking to those people that you're like, we don't really like we're not gonna be able to help each other, and like this just isn't a great thing. So I really thought this light was gonna be better, you guys. But anyway, so I went to speed networking. Let's see if I can fix this. And um, nope, that's not gonna work. All right, so we'll just deal with the light. So anyway, that was kind of fun. Um, I met some cool people, um, and so I was talking about. So I'm in our chamber of commerce um, for our CrossFit gym, but you know, with our CrossFit gym, we really do a ton of other stuff. So like with everybody that starts with our gym, we do nutrition, we do accountability. Um, and then I'm really working with everybody on the mo emotional and mental side of food because guys That's that's really the thing if we can master all those things everybody wins um, So I was talking about that kind of stuff But mostly the elevator pitch for the gym which if you have a business and you don't have a good elevator pitch um, Go speed networking because by the end I was like, oh, this is what I need to say. So anyway, so there's that so um, That was super fun. It was a lot of talking for two hours um, and then I had a meeting so um, I did that for another like hour and a half and then I just got off a call with one of my clients. So a lot of talking today, a lot of energy. But what I really wanted to talk to you guys about was um, A, if you're a business person, have your elevator pitch. Uh, B, if you're in the right thing, people notice, right? And so I really, when I talk about the emotionality side of food and struggle and business, like it just lights me up. And I was, I was talking to one lady and she was like, you just, your whole like essence changes. She's like, you literally just light up when you talk about this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I know it's my calling. So if you're an entrepreneur, if you're out there trying to figure out your thing, like figure out what lights you up. You've got to know what that is because like being an entrepreneur is hard. And if you don't know that you're never going to make it. But anyway, what I really want to talk about today is uncertainty. So I did a post last week um, and I wrote a blog post about it, about how my need for certainty and my need for control um, was part of where my disordered eating came from. Was like if I felt like if I had control of my food and I could control my macros, then then when the other things in my life weren't going so well, um, I had control somewhere, right? And so uh, today I was talking to one of my clients and we were talking about the six human needs and she's like, okay, I realized when I'm trying to avoid doing things um, or just in general that I'm using food for uncertainty. And guys, I think this is so common. Like the reason, a lot of the reason that people binge eat is because they're filling that human need for uncertainty, right? So we need to have certainty, we need to feel safety, we need to feel secure, we need to have things in our life that we know we can count on, but we also need variety. We need things that we're like, I do different things on the weekend. I go travel, I do activities, I read books. I like, there's a lot of different ways we can get uncertainty, but for so many of us, because we don't tend to be like, what lights me up? What do I need in this world? What fills me up? We use food as our need for uncertainty. And so, um, you know, she was saying, she's like, I'm kind of bored with what I'm doing. I eat the same stuff all the time. Um, so then when the weekend comes, I want to eat foods that are different. And she's like, I don't actually know that I want them. I'm just like bored of my food. And I'm like, well, the thing about, and she's like, how do I stop doing that? So the cool thing is, A, the first thing I always talk about is awareness, right? Like, sorry, my kids are screaming. You have to have awareness, right? If you don't have awareness around why, why you're doing what you're doing, you're never going to be able to make change, okay? So now she has that awareness, and she's like, okay, well, what do I do about it? And so I think so often people try to, um, they try to say, okay, I want to stop doing this or have awareness around it, and then they just want to, like, take that out. Well, the thing about it, especially when we're talking about human needs, is that, uncertainty is a need we need variety we need uncertainty so if you just take out if you're getting it from food and you take out food as your as your what you get your uncertainty from you're always going to go back to that unless you fill it up with something else right so if you're like oh i have a need for uncertainty and variety um that means that on the weekends i go on different hikes i do different things i go to you know i go to different events i do whatever like 
doing different things, reading different things, like, you know, just surrounding yourself by a different environment, that kind of stuff. Like that can meet your need for uncertainty. And what I told her is you're naturally going to start to realize that like, okay, I don't have that need for uncertainty in food because I'm getting it from other avenues in my life, right? Especially when you have the awareness, right? Like you can't just, it probably won't naturally just stop, but you'll start, that need will lessen. So once you've filled up your need for uncertainty or variety in a different way, you can start to really remove that need that food is serving in your life for your way to find variety or for, to find certainty. So if this is you, like it's Thursday, and so if like during the week you eat well, um, I hate using that term, but like, you know, you're eating well, you're supporting your energy, you're nourishing your body, and then the weekend comes and you have this pattern and this habit of like, okay, I'm gonna do something different, it's the weekend, blah, 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 and then you're just like, okay, all of my all of my variety in my life is based around food, right? And that's crazy too. We all go, you have to go out to eat, you have to go have drinks, you have to whatever, and not that any of those things are bad, but if you're meeting your need for uncertainty by eating foods that don't get you closest to the highest, best version of yourself and you're just eating crappy food, to meet that need for uncertainty and for variety, then you're totally going backwards. So really look at your life. Like where are you meeting your need for, for, for that's hard to say you guys, for variety <laughs> um, and where are you meeting your need for uncertainty? And the other thing to think about on the side of uncertainty is what's your relationship to it? So most of us don't like uncertainty, right? Like we want to know this is happening, this is going on. Like we don't really like uncertainty. There are lots of amazing souls that just kind of flow with life. And I think that's amazing. <laughs> um, and that's something all of us should try to move towards. But um, where, like what's your relationship to uncertainty? Okay, so if your relationship to uncertainty is it makes you scared and anxious and nervous, start to think about uncertainty as room for growth, right? If you have uncertainty, you don't know the outcome, you don't know what's gonna happen, then you get to create that and you get to be like, oh, that's a room, that's a place for growth. That's a place that I can lean into. That's something that where I can, I can bring, bring my own variety. So think about your relationship to uncertainty. It's just like we talk about with a relationship to pain. And once you start to change the relationship with things that we have, have typically been taught are negative, then you get to shift into um, that's an opportunity. Pain is an opportunity for growth. Um, uncertainty is an opportunity for growth and all that fun stuff. So um, if you guys want to know more about the six human needs, let me know. I've talked about it before, but I think it's just so good because it will give you so much insight into why you do certain things. It will give you so much insight into why the people in your life do certain things. Um, so if you, want, if you guys want more on um, the six human needs, let me know. I will totally be talking about them. Um, most two of my clients right now are in that, that module and I love to chat with you guys about what comes up with them. Um, because I know if it's coming up for them and I've seen it come up for other people, it's probably coming up for you guys too. So, uh, keep your eye out for the five day, uh, food and body freedom challenge. It's going to launch not this Monday, but the next Monday. So if you want to be in that DM me, um, getting the group all set up for you guys, it's going to be awesome. So we're just going to go through five days of talking about this kind of stuff. We're going to talk about awareness and self-sabotage and perfection and control and all those things that even if you don't think you struggle with food and body, this will help you in your life just in general. Get control of your, your uh, understanding of yourself. Not, don't get control. See, I still say it. Um, this is going to help you understand yourself, why you take and what you do. Um, so if you guys want in on that or you know somebody that does, let me know. Um, I hope you guys are having a great Thursday and I'll talk to you soon.